Yes, I'm Bobby Mazin, and um, we are in La Cremaillère Restaurant, which is in Bedford, New York, and uh, this is also where we manufacture Creme Cremaillère ice cream. The creme cremaillère ice cream is manufactured with a proprietary recipe for our ice cream mix, which is also a base. And the base is cream, milk, sugar, and pasteurized egg yolks. And those are um, pasteurized, meaning that it's cooked to a certain degree. I mean, usually we cook ours a bit higher, so it's like 180 degrees. So you're just about to the point where you're scalding the milk. It makes it very hot. The ice cream equipment that we use at Creme Cremaillère is very similar to the theory of the old-fashioned wooden ice cream maker with the metal cylinder. What happens is you put the ice cream mix in the center metal canister and then the ice from the outside freezes interior a liner of that metal container. So with the mix inside and the dasher, when you move that dasher and it actually scrapes the frozen part of the ice cream mix into the rest of the mix. And then the, another really important key ingredient, I think, to making fine ice cream is the way you freeze it. To have it blast frozen, which is in a particular frozen cabinet at negative 40 degrees for a 24 hour period. If you, uh, and that way it keeps the ice cream uh, water molecules, because there will be water in there, small. From the blast freezer, which is negative 40, and after it's held for 24 hours, we store it in a negative 20 degree freezer. Again, you're just ensuring that you're, you're controlling the temperature and keeping it as good quality as possible. And also, just as far as the mix manufacturing again, another thing that we had discovered through our, our testing, because when we started this company, it was uh, our Patrons at the restaurant at La Cremaillère loved our ice cream, and they would often ask us to take it home. So we thought, well, how fun it would be. My husband had this great idea to try to market it to other restaurants and also to the public. And what we found was it took us a year and a half to create the small recipe that was for a two-quart ice cream machine into something that we could make on a 40-quart ice cream machine. It took us a year and a half to get that same product. and figuring out, you know, the same recipe obviously, but figuring out how in manufacturing that, how to make that the same. And I think that creating um, flavors, we've had lots of interesting flavors that we've created and we here we try to have them sort of be reflective of French desserts. So we have our house vanilla is a fabulous vanilla, it's a bourbon Indonesian blend, which we consider sort of an adult vanilla, and it's a vanilla that's made especially for our company. And we had a cherry clafouti, which is based on uh, a French sort of uh, cherry custard type dessert. And, uh, and what we found that we also have to kind of educate people because it's sort of a way for people to try different things rather than, you know, you know, a regular ice cream that they might be familiar to, with, educate them on something kind of different, like a uh, wonderful Amarino cherry in an ice cream. <laughs>